So we all know that exercise is amazing for our bodies. It has loads of great effects, such as improved mood, improved sleep. It helps us to control weight and reduces the risk of heart disease and loads of other effects. But could too much exercise also make us sick? Now that's a complicated question. Hi guys, welcome to the Study Tube channel. My name is Ayafe, my channel name is Ayafe Adebayo. I am going into my third year of medicine at the University of Cambridge and I make lifestyle, vlogs, uni and med school related content. In this video, I'll be looking at three main things. Number one, how exercise benefits the immune system. Number two, whether exercise can suppress the immune system and something called the open window theory. And finally, we'll be looking at why there's so much debate over this topic. Exercise is great for improving our overall health. Specifically in the immune system, it boosts the activity of white blood cells. When we exercise, our blood moves around the body at a much faster rate because our heart rate increases. That means the white blood cells can be transported around the body faster as well. Number two, it is thought that the brief rise in body temperature during and after exercise prevents bacteria from growing. And number three, exercise reduces the release of stress hormones and stress can increase your chances of getting illnesses. So with less stress hormones, you have less risk of being ill. So if exercise helps the immune system, how could it possibly make you ill? So it is argued that mild to moderate exercise is beneficial for your health, but very intense and extremely rigorous exercise actually suppresses your immunity and makes you more likely to get ill. In 1902, a lady called Lara B provided evidence that showed a change in the white blood cells of marathon runners that were similar to those that had certain diseases. She said, Exertion had gone beyond physical limits and results certainly show that where this is the case, we might get a considerable leukocytosis of inflammatory type. Meaning they had pushed their bodies so hard that there was a large increase in white blood cells, which is similar to when people have certain illnesses and infections. So she stated that prolonged strenuous exercise like marathon running leads to a decreased function of white blood cells. There's also evidence to show that after intense exercise, there is a brief reduction in your humoral response for at least an hour. So another experiment that shows this is when they asked some professional cyclists to cycle at 75% of their VO max. And after taking blood tests from these men, they found that there was a decrease in activity of your T cells, which are a type of white blood cells. And this idea is explained by the open window theory, which suggested that hours and days after very strenuous exercise, you're more prone to viral flus and respiratory illnesses especially upper respiratory tract infections and illnesses. And this is due to increased cortisol, adrenaline and noradrenaline. So this graph shows the supposed relationship between exercise intensity and risk of infection. So it shows that after intense activity, you have a higher risk of infection than those who are even sedentary and don't move at all. So does this actually translate to more infections in athletes? Yes. In the weeks following the Tour de France and marathons, those who took part do get more infections than those who didn't. In another experiment, they took people that had ran 56 kilometer marathon and those who didn't run at all and put them in a controlled room and exposed them to the same types of pathogens. And they found that, that those who had taken part in the marathon reported more symptoms of upper respiratory tract infections. So all of this sounds convincing, doesn't it? Mild to moderate exercise, is good for your immune system. And extremely intense exercise for prolonged periods of time is bad for your immune system, right? Now, the beauty of medicine and the human body is that we keep finding out new things as we go along. With exercise immunology, a doctor called Dr. Turner disagrees with the idea of the open window theory. Himself and another doctor called Dr. Campbell argued that the open window theory is incorrect and exercise does not have any negative effect. It is only beneficial. They say that all the negative effects are not due to the exercise itself, but due to the environment that marathons and the Tour de France happens in. They believe 
it's due to traveling, lack of sleep leading up to the big race, increased exposure to pathogens because there are so many people present in marathons and things like the Tour de France. So they could be spreading all their germs around. Ultimately, they say that it isn't the actual exercises that make you sick, but it is the environments that the exercises happen that make you sick. Their paper concluded that exercise improves immunity, exercise improves white blood cell function. The data that strenuous exercise decreases immunity is not completely clear because there isn't a clear causal relationship. But ultimately, it is important to have a good exercise hygiene that involves washing hands and having enough sleep. There's definitely more research to be done in this area, but my advice to you is to definitely do exercise. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you comment down below who you think is right. Can extreme exercise make you ill or is it only positive effects we can get from exercise? Bye.